Lord our God, I come before you once more to offer to you my prayers. I have made my pleas to you again and again, and each moment I do the more my faith increases, that you are truly the God of life and of love. However, there have been a number of times also that I fail to call on you, that I fail to love my neighbors, that I fail to keep my promises, that I fail to ask for pardon, and to give pardon to, our, to others, that I fail to give thanks for all the blessings that come my way. And yet, in all these moments, you are ever present, O Lord, to remind me that you are just around, to take me back once more, if I will but come to you. By meditating on the mysteries of the Holy Rosary, I especially in this novena, in honor of the Queen of the Holy Rosary of Lenaval, may I be led to find your presence in my life, as Mother Mary found it in her own life, in every mystery of my joy, in every mystery of my light, in every mystery of my sorrow, in every mystery of my glory. May I be able to recognize your hand, that I may know you are indeed the Emmanuel, the God who is with us now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. As the child's father and mother were wondering at the things were being said about him, Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Look, he is destined for the fall and for the rise of many in Israel, destined to be a sign that is opposed, and a sword will pierce your soul too, so that the secret thoughts of many may be laid bare. Please kneel. O Mother Mary, Queen of the Holy Rosary of Lanaval, you were chosen to be the mother of God, and being the mother of God, you were chosen not only to share in the glory, but also in the sacrifice which your son was bound to undertake. Yet all this you bore with a humble heart, knowing that the taste of glory is rewarded only to those who have paid the price of great sacrifice. O Mother Mary, may I always remember that there is nothing in this world that can surpass the glory of life that is promised by the Lord. Pray that I may be worthy of it by sharing in His suffering and to be persevering through it all. In silence, let us now offer to God the personal petitions we wish to obtain through the intercession of the Queen of the Holy Rosary of Lanavan. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Final prayer for every day. Queen of the Holy Rosary, Our Lady of Lanaval, we gather as one people in celebration of a battle fought and won, a vow made and fulfilled, a time remembered and held dear, a miracle experienced and kept alive, love received and returned, your patronage sought and thanked for, God praised. God adored. 
Mahal naming ina, as our lips move in whisper prayers, our hands over beads, our knees bend, our eyes look up to you. We plead for your mercy, your grace, your love. O Mother of Peace, give birth to God in our hearts, give birth to peace in our world, give birth to the Word who heals all strife, conquers sin with love, overcomes death, brings us life, as once you interceded for the victory of faith in these islands, pray for us now in our struggle for truth and justice, for peace and love in Christ. O Queen of the Philippines, in your loving hands you hold Jesus, our God, our King, our Savior. You hold him for us to adore and serve, to love and and find salvation in. O Mother and Queen, our hearts may be small, but our love is enormous, and we ask you to come and take your place in us, in the company of your beloved Son, to bless us with your abiding presence, to fill us and keep us in your love and protection, to lead us in the eternal fiat and magnificat to God in whose name we gather. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We call to mind our sins and ask God our Father for forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, you made the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary the home of the Eternal Word and the sanctuary of the Holy Spirit. Give us a heart that is free from sin and attentive to your will, that faithful to your commandments we may love you above all things and seek to help others in their need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, I am amazed that you are so quickly forsaking the one who called you by the grace of Christ. But there are some who are disturbing you and wish to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel other than the one we preach to you, let that one be accursed. As we have said before, and now I say again, if anyone preaches to you a gospel, other than the one you receive, let that one be accursed. Am I now carrying favor with human beings or God? Or am I seeking to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a slave of Christ. Now I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel preached by me is not of human origin. For I did not receive it from a human being, nor was I taught it, but it came through a revelation of Jesus Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will remember His covenant forever. The Lord will remember His covenant forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company of the assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The Lord will remember His covenant forever. The works of His hands are faithful and just. Sure are all His precepts, reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. The Lord will remember His covenant forever. He has sent deliverance to His people. He has ratified His covenant forever. Holy and awesome is His name. His praise endures forever. The Lord will remember His covenant forever. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a scholar of the law who stood up to test Jesus and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? 
How do you read it? He said in reply, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. He replied to him, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man fell victim to robbers. As he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, they stripped and beat him and went off leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down that road. And when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to the place. And when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. But the Samaritan, traveler who came upon him, was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds, and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal, took him to an inn, and cared for him. The next day, he took out two silver coins, and gave them to the innkeeper with the instruction, Take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the robber's victim? He answered, The one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Pansinin natin ang parabola. Tatlong tao, nakita ang isang biktima. Yung dalawa ay napaka relihiyosong tao. Tao ng templo, mga tao ng templo. Sa modernong pananaw, taong simbahan. Yung pari ang nag-aalay ng mga sakripisyo sa templo. Yung Levite ang naglilingkod sa altar. Mga taong simbahan. Subalit ang kapansin-pansin, mga taong simbahan, walang pakialam sa isang taong nangangailangan. Sapul na sapul tayo, mga taong simbahan, ano ang ating tugon sa mga taong nangangailangan? Madaling alagaan ang isang imahe ni Maria. Madaling alayan ng mga bulaklak. Madaling damitan ng halos gintong damit. Lagyan ng korona at lahat. Pero ang tanong, at kung ating pwedeng tanawin si Maria at siya isasagot, ito ba ang mas gusto niya? At sa Ebanghelyo, alam natin ang sagot. Ang sagot, tignan mo ang lagi mong nakikita sa iyong paligid. Hindi natin laging nakikita ang imahin ng ating mahal na ina. 
mas lagi nating nakikita yung mga taong nakakasalimuhan natin sa loob ng tahanan, yung mga katulong, yung mga trabahador, yung mga pulis, kitang-kita natin sila. Si Maria nandiyo dyan at hindi mawawala. Ang tunay na debisyon kay Maria ay hindi po pangunahing pag-aalay ng bulaklak. Minsan pa nga halos mag-apakan tayo pagkatapos ng prosesyon para lang makaagaw ng bulaklak. Pero walang nag-aagawan sa pagtulong sa kapwa. Walang nag-aagawan sa pagtulong sa nangangailangan. Ang tunay na debosyon kay Maria ay katulad ng nakita natin sa Ebanghelyo. Ang isang Samaritano na tumulong sa nangangailangan. Kaya't pwedeng-pwede pong mangyari. Pwedeng-pwedeng mangyari. Hindi tayo makapasok sa dambana ng mahal na birhen sapagkat tayo naglilingkod sa ating kapwa. Pwedeng-pwedeng mangyari. Hindi natin mahawakan ang ating rosaryo sapagkat ginagabayin natin o inaalagaan natin ang isang may karamdaman. Pwedeng-pwedeng hindi tayo naniniklohod sa harapan ng imahe ng mahal na birhen. Subalit nasa harapan tayo ng kusina, nagluluto, naglalaba, nagwawalis bilang paglilingkod sa bawat membro ng ating tahanan o komunidad. At kapag nagawa na natin ang pagpapakita ng pagmamahal sa kapwa, dudulog tayo kay Maria. At iaalay natin ang, ang ating mga ginawa. Huwag, la, huwag tayong lumapit kay Maria na ang daladala ay isang mamamahaling bulaklak. Lumapit tayo kay Maria, daladala ang isang kabutihang nagawa sa kapwa. Lumapit tayo kay Maria sapagkat tinugo na natin ang pangangailangan ng isa rin niyang tunay na anak. Yon ang tunay na debosyon kay Maria. Yon ang tunay na pagmamahal kay Maria. Ang mahalin mo ang kanyang ibang anak na tunay na nangangailangan. We all stand. Let us now pray for our needs so that like Mary, our mother, we may respond generously to the needs of our neighbors. For every petition, we will say, Mary, full of grace, intercede for us Mary full of grace intercede for us for the Pope bishops priests and religious leaders that they may remain faithful and committed to the task of shepherding the faithful especially those who have lost their way that they may be led back to the path towards Jesus we pray Mary full of grace intercede for us for our government leaders, that inspired by the life of Mary, they may heed the voice of the Holy Spirit and follow His guidance to build up a world of peace and justice, of love and freedom, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. That those who are troubled by their past, anxious about the present, frightened of the future, may experience the peace which comes from knowing that the Lord is with them, as He was with Mary. We pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. 
that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, our Mother, we may imitate the example of Jesus, who is ever obedient to the Father's will, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For all of us present, that as we look at Mary, sharing in the passion of her Son, may we find the strength to face difficulties and sufferings of every kind, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For all of us gathered here, may the example of our Blessed Mother continually inspire and guide us in our obligation to protect lives, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For those who are affected and afflicted by COVID-19, especially all our health care providers and frontliners, the sick and those who have died, may through the guidance and grace of the Lord, the government and private agencies swiftly find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For our personal intentions and for the intentions of the Lenival devotees, friends and benefactors, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. God our Father, you pattern us by your Spirit into the image of your Son, crucified and risen, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Holy God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this bread to offer you, which art has given human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine may we come to share in the divinity of Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Look with favor, O Lord, on the gifts we bring as we celebrate this memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Ladaval. Grant that as we follow her example, we may faithfully cherish and continually ponder the riches of grace that we owe to your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. You gave the Blessed Virgin Mary a wise and obedient heart that she might perfectly carry out your will, a new and gentle heart in which you were well pleased and on which you inscribed the law of the new covenant. You gave her an undivided and pure heart that she might be worthy to be the virgin mother of your son and to rejoice to see you forever. 
you gave her a steadfast and watchful heart so that she could endure without fear the sword of sorrow and await in faith the resurrection of her son. With the whole company of angels, we sing your praises in their canticle of joy. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Honesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our parents, brothers and sisters, relatives and friends, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Lanaval, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic de Guzman, Saint Teresa of Avila, Saint Vincent Ferrer and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray with confidence to the Father in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety. 
as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to partake of His Supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, you have given us a share in eternal redemption. Grant that we who celebrate the memory of the mother of your son, our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Lanaval, may rejoice in the fullness of your grace and experience a continuous increase of your saving power. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata, God our Father, we come, we come to, to you in our, in our need. need. To ask to your ask protection you. against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. 
We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, Lenaval de Manila, pray, pray for, for us. us. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsor, pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman, pray for us. All Dominican saints and blessed, pray, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads, pray for God's blessings. May the Father of mercies, through the love with which he cherished the mother of his son, bless you with health of mind and body. Amen. May Jesus Christ, the blessed fruit of Mary's womb, adorn you with the virtues that will make you more pleasing to him. Amen. May the Holy Spirit, whose power overshadowed the Virgin Mary, give you serenity and peace that you may live as one in mind and heart in the household of the Church. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you, remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go home in peace. Thanks be to God.